I'm waiting for Kayla to come out so that we can do our six miles. We were out, we did one loop, but she realized that it was too cold. You can see a mountain in the distance, right over there, across the Snake River. Are you ready finally? Yes. So the uh, leaves are changing colors. Just since we've been here, those were, I think, all green, maybe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or mostly, and they're turning that golden, golden yellow. I don't know what kind of trees these are, though, but they're beautiful. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know the names of things. You just need to know that they're beautiful. And over here, I see a wood or rabbit. <laughs> and he's off. Taking a left turn at Albuquerque. This happens multiple times a day, but I don't think I've been awakened by it one time at night, and it's really not even very loud outside. They are super long trains, normally pulled by like uh, three or four engines, and then one in the middle, and sometimes another two on the other end. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I think I actually hear the uh, final engines coming now, or locomotives. I don't really know if you're supposed to call it a locomotive or what. No, it's not the final one, it's the middle. So it just goes and goes and goes. There's uh, two of them in the middle. And then more and more and more cars. It's really kind of neat when you think about it. Ezra made some delicious chocolate oatmeal cookies. As you can see, they are nearly gone, but they're delicious. One of our fellow campers is also a potato farmer. He said he had a couple of thousand acres that they were harvesting, so he brought us some potatoes, a whole five-gallon bucket worth, and they're probably the freshest potatoes in all of Idaho. What's the matter with my waistcoat? The hermit. 